get ready, get pumped. We got our Ravenswood Redheads up first. You know, get pumped. Sixes and sevens in the chat here. Let's get everyone pumped for our very first team on the red, red team, Val Agnew. Oh, we're getting crazy. St. Patrick's Day fun, baby. Up next, if you could choose your fate, would you? Because I think Maureen Winston does. Sixes and sevens for Maureen. But we couldn't lead this wonderful uh, team without our great captain, our wonderful, powerful cat got sick, baby. All right, well, we got a tough competition ahead of us because they, the Ravenswood Redheads, are going against our Chicago bosses. Oh, running that championship. We got a stacked team for you, but don't worry. Let's get more sixes and sevens and get ready to cheer on Fiona Stevens. Who is she? Who is she? I can't tell. There's too many glasses. Oh, thank God. I can't. I hope we don't see any more glasses coming up soon. Cause I'm going to get really confused. Oh, but give it up. Luis Cortez, the strong, the mighty, no glasses today. Leading the team. Leaders. Oh, thank God there were no glasses in that last one. But wait, Heather Scholl, captain of the downtown Chicago bosses with the glasses blocking out the haters. But we can't do this without our ref, our one and only Jason Geis. Hello, loyal fans. Hello, Kelsey. How are you? Oh, I'm so good. How are you? Am I doing the right? Yes. I'm great. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you. Uh, of course. Of course. Uh, loyal fans, Kelsey did a great job going over all the things you need to know to enjoy a comedy sports match comfortably, safely, and in the confines of your own home. Just to reiterate that out of bounds fell, don't say anything natty, nasty, cussy pants, or offensive. We don't need to punch down, only punch up. Uh, so uh, there's also one more foul to go over, and that is the technical foul. We've now been doing shows on the internet for 16 years. Uh, and by now, if we have not figured out as players how to use the mute button uh, or to come off things from a technical standpoint, then you're going to get a technical foul. And if it's a mute foul, I will deduct uh, two points from the score. But if it is a legitimate Comcast type technical foul, I will be gracious. Uh, and with that, I believe we are ready to start this thing. Are you ready, Kelsey? Oh, I'm so pumped. I am so pumped. I was commenting earlier that my hair and my facial hair used to be red, and now it's gray because I run comedy sports. <laughs> I'm too. Okay, everybody, sixes and sevens in the chat as we welcome to the screen your captains. What's up? 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 Like, uh, throwback commercial. <laughs> yeah, I, for all the youths in the audience, they're just loving this. I also, uh, I that felt like Wrigleyville. It was like we simulated Wrigleyville there for a moment. It yeah, is St. Patrick's Day. And then I'm Patrick's the day Day's. after St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, you guys represent the two stages of Wrigleyville. Uh, Captain Cat, <laughs> Captain Heather, how are you both tonight? Good. Good? Can I say hi to my mom? My mom is up there. Hello, Tom. Oh, Hi, Paul, lady. Paul, lady, I love it. Gigi's in the house. We all love a good Gigi <laughs> sighting, uh, which means we're going to get a squid reference at some point. Uh, at some well, point, no, sorry. At some point. No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, now, uh, let's start this match off with a coin toss to see who's going to go first between the bosses and our uh, redheads. Uh, you know, it is St. Patrick's Day, and we wouldn't be uh, we wouldn't be a company if we didn't somehow appropriate St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so, for your coin toss, I would like to see your best mini jig, just a little <laughs> mini jig, uh, and I will Kelsey will determine uh, as the most Irish person on the screen uh, what who has the best mini jig. Now it's a mini jig, which means it can it can be small movements in your little square. Uh, so uh, uh, challengers, uh, redheads, I'll let you go first with your mini jig. Good 
Very good. Very good. As is classic with Irish step dancing, the upper half of the body does not move. Very good. Uh, Heather, go ahead. Uh, your mini jig, please. Oh. oh, come on. Oh, my. <laughs> not okay. That's a full jig, though. That's not a mini. <laughs> Well, it's mini in that we only saw her little footsies doing it. Oh, look how mini! Look how mini she got! Uh, but it is ultimately up to Kelsey. Kelsey, who wins that mini jig coin to us? Well, I was moved to tears, first of all. That was outstanding. Um, honestly, I think you both did well. Um, but Kat took herself out of the running by being intimidated by Heather, so I gotta give it to Heather! It should. Oh my I, gosh! Here's I don't think a fun I've ever fact. Intimidated anyone like that before? <laughs> Here, here's a fun fact for you keeping score at home. Uh, my initials are J, R J I G. So there we go. Uh, so uh, now everyone can puzzle over what that I stands for. Uh, Heather, your team has won, which means you get to uh, pick the opening head-to-head. -head. What would you like to choose to go into battle with? <sighs> Well, much like um, how we feel about the many stages of Thanksgiving in Chicago, I would like to call the game of Yay Boo! Yay Boo! Awesome, Kat, do you accept? Be prepared to be intimidated, because this is a real- we play this good. <laughs> boo. Uh, wonderful. Uh, screen your teams. Uh, Captain Heather has chosen to challenge the Redhead to the game of Yay Boo! Here's how this is going to work. Each team will be either yay or boo. For this first round, the bosses will be yay and the redheads will be boo. One at a time, they will take turns uh, saying a, part, a line in a story. Uh, the blue team, since they're starting, will say a positive yay line from the story and everyone will say yay. Then the red team will follow it up with a negative line from the story and we'll all say boo. We'll go back and forth like that, and we'll switch who's yay and who's boo throughout the game. Here's how uh, they will they will rotate out. If they say something that isn't yay enough or boo enough, that's it. Those are my criteria for the game of yay boo. Uh, wonderful. Do we have an do we have an order for this? Wonderful. Uh, right, gonna... Maureen is going to start off for us. Oh, wonderful. Val's going to start off for us. And Great. Val's I will. Gonna... I will start. Wonderful. So Heather versus Val. Now in the chat, can I get the name of a story that's never been told before? Um, it can be, you know, the, the pokey little pig does his taxes. Uh, <laughs> you should have done my taxes today. <laughs> I, the pokey little pig probably does my taxes uh, as well as they turn out for me. Oh, uh, I like this from Zorro Anderson, who we all were talking about before the show that we all think we know this person, but that we don't know who it is. So. Uh, all dogs go to Harvard is going to be your suggestion, <laughs> uh, which I love on many levels. So Heather, you're going to start with yay. Val, you're going to be boo. For the game of yay boo, are we ready? Yeah! And begin. It was a sunny day in Boston. Yay! yay! So sunny that there was an epidemic of sunburns. Boo! <laughs> But sunburns couldn't keep Jimmy the dog from studying hard for college. Yay! Yay! Jimmy tried to study and sit with his aloe on, but it dripped all over his books, and so he couldn't read them. Boo! Luckily, Jimmy had the internet, and so much information is available there to help you prep for your SAT and ACT. Yay! I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you there though. Nobody takes the ACT anymore. Uh, so let's rotate in a new blue player. Oh. I don't know what happened to those after 2005. Yeah, they kind of just <laughs> fell away after 2005. Uh, cool. Who do we have up next for the bosses? Luis. Luis, wonderful. I have lost my visual. Amazing. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yay! Me too. Yay! Sixteen years, sixteen years and counting without a without a Twitch screw up. Uh, wonderful. Uh, so, Luis, uh, you are now going to be the boo. Good thing we're all improvisers and didn't panic. <laughs> boo! <laughs> can't continue. If I can't see you, I can't continue. I have object permanence. We're now doing a bat. Ah! 
Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, it's just... It's just... This is a bat. We're doing a bat. Wonderful. So, Luis, you are now the boo. Val, okay. you are the yay. We'll start with you. Uh, let's move along a little bit. We're in chapter four now of All Dogs Go to Harvard. Uh, so, Val, you can pick it up wherever you think chapter four starts and begin. Jimmy was sitting in his very first class, and he yay. was so excited. <laughs> yay! <laughs> Unfortunately, he was late and therefore got the worst seat in the room. <laughs> but his seat made for really good people watching, and he Yay. spotted a cute, <laughs> a cute puppy in the second row. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> he immediately became upset because all he saw was just a young genius there to take his spot. And we ain't got time for that. <laughs> but then he thought, this genius could help me. I will befriend this puppy genius. Yay! Yay! <laughs> As he went to approach, he tripped and stumbled down the stairs in front of everyone. Boo! Boo! But then, the cutest Dalmatian stood no, over. No, you paused. You paused too long. <laughs> this is why I kept yaying because I wasn't sure when you were done. You're you're out. Uh, great, Ma Maureen or Maureen. Bernina Peters is up. Uh, Hello, wonderful. I'm here. Hi. No All one right. goes in the woods. <laughs> Luis, you are now yay. Bernadette, you are boo. Uh, and we're uh, we're about halfway through All Dogs Go to Harvard now. Uh, so cool. We're, we're, we're comfortably into the fall semester. Uh, Ooh. All right, Luis, begin. Oh, another <laughs> wonderful fall day in Boston. The leaves <laughs> falling and the knowledge entering the brain. I'm gonna stop. You were the yay. You started off taxed. Like, you're like, no, ugh. It wasn't taxed. No, I kind of like it. It gave it, like, fluff. No, and, like... no. The sigh of, like, ugh. Oh, no. Okay. No. This no. day. I see. Yes. Nailed the, the, the exasperation of, of positivity. Get out. Get out of here. Everything's coming up, Bernadette. <laughs> Very good, Bernadette. <laughs> Wonderful. Fiona, I believe you're the last player for the blue team. I sure am. Oh my god. Great. So you are now Boo, since this seems like all the blue team can handle. Sounds uh, terrible. Uh, <laughs> Bernadette, you are yay. Uh, wonderful. Uh, let's keep, we never really got kicked off on that crisp fall day that Luis was <laughs> exasperated by. So Maureen, why don't you give it a shot? Go ahead and start. It was a crisp fall day and our dog friend got their very first pumpkin spice latte. Yay! Yay! He needed it to wash down the sense of failure after failing his first test. Boo. But he knew <laughs> that life could only get better from here because when you're down, there's nowhere to go but up. Yay! Yay! Lately, though, he had been spending a lot of time at rock bottom. <gasps> <laughs> Boo. Boo! The brewery. The brewery, of course. He yeah. really enjoyed the beers made at that delicious brewery and made a lot of friends around the bar. M Maureen, I'm going to call you there. Uh, this is clearly the dog's first year, which means they're not legally drinking age oh. appropriate. So. What if they took a gap year or five? Illegal activity. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, well, they're not legal in dog years, years, but they're legal in human years. That Very is? good. And yet, I rotated you anyway. Uh, great, so I believe, Kat, you were the last one for the red team. So whoever uh, whoever gets this gets the five big points in the start. Uh, Fiona, you are, now, you are now yays. Kat, you are boos. We are in the final chapter of All Dogs Go to Harvard. And go. It was a crisp fall day in Boston. <laughs> Yay! Apparently... Uh, this dog was in a groundhog day mode and kept playing the same crisp fall day over and over again. 
Boo! But that was okay by him because each day became more and more rich with texture and color. <laughs> Yay! Until day number 994, when they couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> and that's when Jimmy decided to fulfill his lifelong dream of being the president of Harvard. <gasps> Yes. Um, is this the first time we've heard the dog's name? No. Jimmy, he's just Jimmy? like the first sentence. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I just wanted to check in. Continue. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Little did Jimmy know that being the president of an institution like that comes with an awful lot of problems. Good thing Jimmy was not only responsible, he was great at delegating and had a great team behind him. All right, now I just feel like you're all overusing the name to prove a point. So you're out. Five points to the redheads. What? This game is over. This Yay! game is over. <laughs> Ugh, Kelsey, what a time. Uh, honestly, they were so good. I wish, I wish we could like, like tip them for how good they were. Okay. Oh, but wait. But oh. we have that option. What? Did you see that <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Um, if we feel so inclined, and you liked what you see, thank you so much, Allie. Does it prob? You can tip these folks. And my very natural segue, so... Very natural. Yay, Here's good. a fun fact about me. My mustache has grown too long, so it's tickling my nose, so I feel like I constantly have a booger. Anyway, oh. that's about me. Let's get the <laughs> captain of the red team Boo. up to the screen. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on Twitch. I'm sure everyone misses me. Uh, I missed you. <laughs> captain Cat, you won in a game of yay. But, oh, Kelsey, thank you. Uh, you you won in a you won in a very hotly contested game of Yay Boo, which means you get to pick your first team game. What would you like to play first? Indeed, we would like to play Changing Styles, a uh, Wrigleyville St. Patrick's Day style. <laughs> Amazing, great. Feel your team. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the Redheads have chosen to play uh, Changing Styles, Wrigleyville style. Which, uh, for those of you that live in Chicago, uh, you will be familiar with the Wrigleyville Police Blotter which is must read, a must read after any major Cubs game, Halloween and St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it literally is everything that happened in Wrigleyville during this, uh, this momentous time. So we're gonna get a bunch of suggestions uh, of things that you think could be in the Wrigleyville police blotter. Ooh. So, which are within bounds, <laughs> because many of the things <laughs> in the blotter are not in bounds. So if you could just start throwing in a bunch of things that you think are happening uh, for those of you that don't live in Chicago, Wrigleyville is a area of town where, let us just describe it in this way, a lot of 22-year-old college males move there. <laughs> so ascertain what you will from that neighborhood, and it's right where Wrigley Field is, home of the Cubs. So what do you think happens on St. Patrick's Day that would make the police blotter? Um, also, just as a fun, as a, a fun additional thing, uh, throw in... Throw in uh, some fictional Dropkick Murphys song titles, for me. <laughs> just so it's not <laughs> just so it's not all uh, police splatter activity. So what we're gonna do with this is oh. um, <laughs> what we're gonna do with this is the red team's gonna be doing a scene, uh, just a normal any any old scene. But anytime I can call my whistle and pull one of your suggestions, and they will have to change the style of their scene to fit uh, that new suggestion. So if I, you know, if I'm scrolling through and I see drunk and disorderly, and I tweet and say drunk and disorderly, they'll have to continue the exact same scene they're doing, but now they're all drunk and disorderly. Uh, or in an Yay. oompa band. Uh, amazing. So keep putting in things that you think are in the Wrigleyville. <laughs> so many stings. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, keep putting things that you think are in the Wrigleyville Police Blotter or Dropkick Murphy songs, but also give me a location where this can take place. Ooh. I heard Wrigleyville. Great. I'm uh, Wrigleyville. Yeah, I don't know why I even asked. 
So, uh, Redheads, you are you are in Wrigleyville. Are you ready for the game of Changing Styles Wrigleyville Edition? Yes. 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 And begin. Pros, come in quick. All right, a little uh, like just put our heads together before we go downstairs and jump out on Clark Street. All right. <laughs> okay, Tonight. I'm... Go ahead. I was gonna say I've made everyone pretzels. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I don't do gluten, man. You know that. <laughs> Just today, it's a it's a cheat day. It's a cheat day. I'll, I'll take I'll take Marcos. Yeah. Okay. Uh, drunk fighting. <laughs> you. No, you won't. No, you won't. Don't. Yes, you will. Take my pretzel, okay, don't. and shove it. <laughs> Bro, you don't know me. Okay. I know that? everything I about you. Got something serious to say. Okay. <laughs> say it. Me, Just tonight. say it. Tonight. Uh, too much whimpering. <laughs> <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Can we please let this be the year we don't be arrested? <laughs> I love the drunk tank and all the friends we make there. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Floggy Miss Molly. <laughs> Ow! T song title. Ow! Stop. Ow! It's, That's right, Miss It's a Molly. ritual. Get used to it. I don't like it. This is what we do. This is what we do. It's St. Patrick's Day, okay? I'm gonna go to jail. No! Uh, Perhaps my favorite suggestion ever typed into a chat, uh, puking on a pile of puke. <laughs> <laughs> what I am going to go to jail. Is it gluten in this <laughs> Yeah, what do you think? It's bread. Of course it's gluten. <laughs> hey, hey, Marco. Marco, move over a little bit. Marco, move over a little bit. <laughs> I think it's time to go to jail. <laughs> Just a little bit. I want to pee on your <laughs> I can't. Uh, what about, uh, kiss me, my ankle is sprained. <laughs> Let me just kiss it, bro, and make it better. Let me just kiss it. <laughs> Let's all kiss it. And, and back to puking on a pile of puke. <laughs> no, Sam, it's good over, like, five inches. I'm <laughs> and I... And... <laughs> That's the game! <laughs>
I am 57 years young, and <laughs> I was just in the shower until you all rang the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for also putting on a comedy sports jersey. Uh, and then the final, the, our final player, uh, final advice panelist. Oh my God, it's so funny to run into you here in your DMs. It's me, Kaylee, from high school. Remember, it's K-A-Y-L-E-I-G-H-E-Y. Kaylee, it's me. <laughs> Let's talk about having your own business. I, I hate, I hate Kaylee. Oh, uh, <laughs> wonderful. K-A-Y-L-E-I-G-H-E-Y. Kaylee. Kaylee. Amazing. All yeah, right. Uh, now, thank you for coming, uh, all of our esteemed panelists. We're going to ask you some uh, opinions and some advice right now. Uh, this is a good one from, <laughs> because I know this person, it's even funnier. Uh, Michael Erickson would like to know, should I still be wearing capris? Uh, and Carmen, we'll start with you. Okay, I wore capris on the first day of school this year, and I just about barfed. I was so embarrassed. Don't do it. Oh, my God. Wonderful. Arthur, 57 years young. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, funny that you should ask, because uh, I should be wearing capris, but you're here interrupting me when I should be finishing my shower. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, you can go ahead and wear whatever you want and tell me what it is that we're actually here to do so I can go finish my shower, because someone has to get to work, and it's Arthur. <laughs> you didn't You didn't have to answer the door, Arthur. Uh, you what, know what? They kept ringing. They kept ringing, and I don't like to be rude. Don't tell me what to do with my door. Our producers are insistent. Uh, and Kaylee? Oh my Please? gosh, thanks so much for coming to this party. I can't believe you came. I just want to let you know, um, I want to clarify. I don't know if you're talking about Capri as in the pants, but if you are, I do have a friend who sells LuLaRoe and I'll connect you. But for right now, this is the shade Capri Tan. And yes, you should be wearing it. <laughs> it looks so beautiful with your eye color. Amazing, amazing. Uh, good, okay, here's another question um, from Amanda Brock. What should I do for spring break? Spring break's coming up for a lot of people. Uh, what should we do for spring break? Arthur, what are you going to be doing for spring break besides Funny you that should we're ask. here? <laughs> Great. Funny you should ask because some of us don't get a spring break. Some of us have to work through spring break. All right? Uh -huh. And I work down at the PetSmart down by 5th and Main. It's the Wait. one that's about to close. Wait. <laughs> the job that you're upset that we've interrupted you for is PetSmart? Hey, you know what? A job's a job. That is a very high and mighty position to take, sir. It's a no. job. I'm sorry I don't get to wear stripes and whistles. Yeah, I think referee of a comedy show on mine it ranks slightly above pet. I also again, love the quarrel. Again, that very judgy. Very judgy. I'm yeah. glad I got out of the shower for this. It's literally what a referee has to do is judge. Uh, wonderful. Kaylee E. <laughs> Oh my gosh, spring break. <laughs> Those were the days. Now it's just really hard when all the kids are out of school to find time to run your own business, but that's okay. I had six different parties last year during spring break, and I have a goal to have 10 this year in Florida where I'm expanding my business to my friends who live there. And while you're Great, there, thank we you, can try Kaylee. this palette. Thank you. It would be beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Kaylee. Oh my God. You're triggering me in every way. Uh, Carmen. Spring break, thoughts? Oh my God, whatever you do, don't find out that your crush, Mitch Schminkus, is really into skateboarding and then tell him you know all about skateboarding and then try and prove it and scrape both your knees and cry. Oh my God. I have makeup to cover knee bruises. I gotta go. Carmen, let me just let you know that it gets better than Mitch Schminkus. Uh, and nothing wonderful. could be better than Mitch Schminkus. Oh my God! I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to agree. I'm gonna have to agree. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Uh, here's one from Dark Hunter X90. Is that like PX90 for evil people? Uh, I found a book made of human flesh in the basement of an abandoned cabin. Should I open it and read it? Oh. Kaylee. 
Oh my gosh, probably um, because actually the book for Beauty Me Now, that's the cosmetic line that I independently run um, my own business for. Um, we actually sell all of our catalog things is in a book of human flesh. So you can try the product right there on the book cover. Oh my God, it's like a, a, a testing thing right there. Yeah, I've given my heart and soul to this company. I hope that you might consider um, joining me. I'll, I'll give you one of those catalogs. I look forward to watching your eventual documentary on HBO Max. Oh my God, uh, it's only. <laughs> Carmen? Oh my God, if popcorn reading in language arts has taught me one thing, it's that reading it all out is just a recipe for embarrassment. Don't do it. Oh my God. Shout out to popcorn reading. Uh, and Arthur, age 57. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was the question again? Great. Uh, next question. Uh, this will be a yes, no. Uh, this will be a yes, no question. Uh, and I think it's it's pressing. Is name brand Worcestershire sauce worth the higher price? Whoa. Uh, yes. <laughs> Great. Kaylee E? Worcestershire. Worcestershire? I think I'm saying it right. Wor Worcestershire? Worst. 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 Great. And uh, Carmen, uh, because you're 13, you have to spell Worcestershire. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. W-O. Uh-huh. No, this is terrible. That's a oh and God. And eyes. And that's oh, the game. No. Kelsey, those were two great games. Now it comes over to you. Uh, you're gonna throw a poll up in the in the chat now, and Got loyal it. fans, you get to vote on which game you want to win the five points. Did you want the changing styles of Wrigleyville of the uh, Redheads to win, or did you want the advice panel of the bosses to win? Go ahead and vote now. You can use channel points to vote more times if you want to. Uh, so please do. And uh, while you're voting, Kelsey mentioned that we now have a new home. We are no longer at the Den Theater in Bucktown, so don't head over there. No. Uh, for many reasons. Uh, <laughs> we are now at Piper's Alley, uh, which is at 230 West North Avenue. It's, uh, it's right in the heart of Old Town. And we will be there Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturday nights. Thursdays at 7, we have League Night with both the Rec League and Minor League. Thir uh, Friday nights at 8, we have Comedy Sports. And Saturday nights at 6 p.m., we have Comedy Sports. And 9.30 p.m., we have Trapped in a Musical. This is all at CSCChicago.com. <gasps> what? Okay. What happened? I might what know happened? a secret. I might know a secret. secret. Tell me a secret. Um, those five points. Uh-huh. Go on. Goes to the blue team. Ooh. Advice panel. So what does that make our score now, Kels? Um, it's a barn burner. We're tied five to five. Oh, gosh. Let's get both our captains to the screen. Oh, lordy. Lordy. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Captain Heather, Captain Cat, you were locked in battle, making the first half of this match completely useless. <laughs> <laughs> well, we learned a lot, though. We learned a I lot. I think we did. Look, we learned a lot. We learned how to say whoosh. 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 Um, whoosh. And how do you say it? Uh, go Wildcats. <laughs> go Wildcats. How's the score on the Kentucky game? It's actually scary. It's, so, it's 68 62 with three minutes left. They're a second half team. Uh, I know. All right. So, sorry Calipari, about that. Calipari, Calipari knows University, how to win. Go University of Kentucky. Go let's Kentucky. Play a game. Yeah, let's play a game. Great. Uh, all right. So we're tied up. Uh, and uh, Heather, since your team just won, I'm going to let you uh, let you. You know what? Cat brought me good news about the Kentucky score. Uh, wow. What people don't know is Cat and I are both University of Kentucky fans. I went to school there. Cat is from there. Um, wow. So Cat, because you brought. 
Yes, so is Gigi. Uh, so, Kat, since you brought me good news, I'd like you to pick a head-to-head -to, -head to challenge the bosses too. I would like to challenge you to blind virtual background freeze. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Heather, I've not played this in a long time. Uh, do you um, accept? I will accept, but I think she just called that so she can turn around and watch the basketball game. That is I mean, a true. Strategy, <laughs> strategy, my friend. It's all good. All right, everyone screen your team. Now, for the game of Blind Background Freeze, uh, our stage manager tonight, Jacob Schaefer, everyone give a shout out to Jacob in the chat. Shout out. Jacob! Shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Seven for Jacob. Jacob has been taking your suggestions uh, and finding various images and various oh. things, uh, which if you've ever watched this game on Twitch before, you know that this is a real grab bag of human depravity. Uh, so, <laughs> so Jacob is gonna throw up some images, but here's the thing, the players on the screen are not gonna be able to see them. So the players look around and not face the screen. Kelsey and I will see the image pop up and then I will tell all six players to turn back around and then I will call on them, Burnbox style, and they will have to make up a joke based on the image they saw right on the spot. Now they can use any joke setup they want. It can be a, a whimsical observation. It can be 185. It can just be a uh, Jerry Seinfeld type delivery. It doesn't matter. They just have to try and make you laugh. If you liked the joke, throw sixes and sevens in the chat after each one. You are gonna vote at the end in which one you thought, but I may give bonus points to the team that had the most sixes and sevens throughout the whole blind background freeze because we're in a tie situation and I don't like it. All right, uh, players, if you could all flip around. I'm so excited. I've never been on this side of this game and so it feels good to have the upper hands a little bit. Oh, oh. all right. Uh, oh no. As expected, Jacob has surpassed my expectations and put up the first image. So everyone flip around. And... <laughs> Cat. Uh, I crossed a, uh, I crossed Dr. Seuss with St. Patrick's Day. What'd you get? Green eggs and ham. <laughs> Fiona. Um, I crossed Idina Menzel with Thanksgiving. Oh What'd God. you get? A wicked turkey. Oh, ah! <laughs> 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 oh, it's worth it just for that. <laughs> Maureen. I crossed uh, a, a turkey with a superhero. What'd you get? I got the green gobbler in. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's a super villain, but I'll take it. Uh, Luis. Hey, everyone. Dinner's what? ready. I don't want to exaggerate, but you're going to feel so spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> no sixes, no sevens. Val? No sixes. So I'm the turkey, and, uh, <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so what... everyone, everyone settle in for this joke. <laughs> Someone asked me, why did you dye your, your skin and your hair green? Uh -huh. And I just said, I don't know, I was just winging it. <laughs> For sure. Yep. <laughs> uh -huh. That's Look where that goes. just too good, you know? And everyone flip around, everyone flip back around. Uh, Jacob, please throw up the next image. <laughs> no. I hate this. Flip back around. Uh, wonderful. Uh, Luis. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think I can come up with anything, Clover. Ah, dang it. Dang it. Boo. Dang it. Uh, Val. So I'm goofy in this outfit. <laughs> This wry observational humor. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and everyone's like, why are you dressed so ridiculous? And I said, you know, we can have differences of opinions, but I don't think we're seeing eye to eye. <gasps> yeah! Oh, okay, good, very good, very good. Fiona? Uh, 
Goofy saw a B movie that was so good. Gosh, how good was it? It had the perfect cast. <laughs> oh, I see. Ah, ah. <laughs> Maureen. 185 Goofies walk into a bar at the Grand Floridian and uh, the bartender says, have a magical day. And the Goofies say, I just ep can't. Ugh. Very good. As a former, as a former friend of Goofy, this is delighting me. Really? Uh, uh-huh. Uh, all right, Captain Battle here now. So, Captain, uh, Heather, you're up first. You can wager points on how good you think this is. Uh, or you can pass and not do one at all. Can I what wager like? zero points? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just to go, because I, I yeah, want to go. Fine. All right, go. Okay, Give get me. ready, get ready, get ready. Here we go. Oh, uh, is this thing on? Okay. <laughs> What's the <laughs> deal with this Goofy? <laughs> That's it. This is my Jerry sign. Oh. <laughs> Why are his uh, eyes like that? Bum, 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 Enter. Wah, bah, bah, wah, bah, bah. Zero. It turns out that was a safe wager. Cat, uh, Cat, would you like to wager any points? Um, I will wager one point. Okay, one All point. Right. Go so for it. So I crossed a um Christmas Carol with uh -huh. a Disney character. What'd you get? Yeah. Some really goofy green sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> yep, bonus point achieved. <laughs> For those of you watching, the bonus points are achieved by if you make me laugh. <laughs> Jacob's just having Jacob's having a blast with this goofy. Uh, all right, everyone, flip back around. Wonderful. Uh, a, a next next image. Oh. <laughs> oh, I okay. It took me a minute to figure out what it was. Uh, great, great, great. Everyone flip back around. Oh. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Val? So, so I'm the duck with the basketball in my mouth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, um, and I went to the doctor and he said, I can't get this basketball out of your mouth. And I said, you're a quack. <laughs> oh. Heather. Oh, it's not you, organ duck with a basketball in your mouth. It's me. I gotta break up with you. I'm broke. I don't have enough money to cover the bill. Mmm, very good, Kat. Uh, yeah, you know, um, what kind of candy do ducks eat? I don't know. What kind? Basketball jawbreakers. <laughs> it seems like... <laughs> He was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> great, Luis versus Maureen. Uh, Luis, would you like to wager any points on how good your joke is? I'm going to wager two points. Nice. Okay, now you have to make me laugh. Uh, so go for it. What, what, what do basketball and ducks have in common? <laughs> what? They both love traveling. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Two points to the bosses. I should not have left that. Yes, uh, I shouldn't have, you fool! I you like fool. Luis's little happy dance. <laughs> Maureen, uh, would you like to wager any points on yours? Uh, I'd like to wager half a point. Uh, no, we can only do full this, girl. point wagers. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Full point Okay, Cat wants me to do a full point, so I'll do Full it. point wager, go for I'll it. I'll take it. Okay, all right. <laughs> You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got, it. Okay. You got the point. Uh, no. Wonderful. All right. Uh, flip around one more time. Oh wait, I won. I have one. Oh, go ahead, Fiona. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I I mixed Oregon and ducks together. What did you, you get? A foul case of dysentery. <laughs> you know what? That's the end of the game. <laughs> That's the end of the game. Wonderful. Uh, now, loyal fans, you're gonna vote on which team you would like to give five points to in the poll right now. Uh, which team do you think have the better jokes, the better blind background pieces? I would like to give a bonus point to the blue team. Uh, they got the most sixes and sevens uh, throughout the whole match. Uh, specifically, uh, I try to remember the one that really cracked everyone up. 
but my brain is feeble. Uh, I have so to say, yeah, they were all quack. -tastic. It was probably my Jerry Seinfeld because that was definitely very clever and very thought out. Definitely had a punchline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very clever, very thought out, very good, very good, very very hip, very now. Uh, Wonderful. So you're going to vote in the poll right now. Also, if you would like to support us in other ways, uh, we sell merch on our merch store. If you do exclamation point merch, you can see some of the merch we have. Uh, and I am due to update a bunch of stuff. So if you have yeah. suggestions, email me suggestions. It's jason at csechicago.com because I'm going to be making a whole new batch of merch. So if you have suggestions for things you want to see, throw them in there. I have a secret. I have a secret. <gasps> Tell me your secret. What? 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 Okay, nobody freak out. But the winner, 57% to 43%, the red team! <gasps> no! What does that make our score now, Kelsey? Uh, the red team is up with 12, and the blue team has 8. All right. It's anyone's game. Okay. It's anyone's game. As, it's so bizarre to see your points with, like, not off by fives. <laughs> I know, right? It's the chaos that is me. Hey, uh, wonderful. All right, let me get my captains to the screen. All right, as Kelsey indicated, it is a tight game, right? So there's only four points betwixt you. Uh, so uh, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to play the hardest game at comedy sports, six things, which you both have to participate in. Uh, so you're each gonna have to send a player out of the room because this is a guessing game. Uh, Captain Cat, who would you like to send out of the room? Uh, regretting my decision to send Val because the UK game just went to overtime. Oh but no, Val's really? Go, and I will stay here. That is not great news. I know. Uh, <laughs> the 15 seed Hi, pushing Val. Kentucky into overtime. Uh, wonderful. So Val will leave for the Redheads. And then Heather, who would you like to send out to compete Ours. with Val? Smartest player, Fiona. Fiona, Ooh. excellent. So Fiona and Val, no offense, please Louise. leave. Wonderful. <laughs> now uh, I'm dumb, 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 dumb baby Louise, you stay here. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Louise, do your happy dance again. That was so nice. <laughs> no, he's a dumb baby. He can't. Uh, wonderful. So Fiona and Val have left the room, and that's because uh, we're going to be playing a guessing game. So earlier, Kelsey asked you for a suggestion. Uh, and she got a bunch of activities, and we're gonna see those now. So this, we got six activities before the show started, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each of those activities and make them a little bit harder for our guessers. For those of you that have watched, I think 100% returning, but if not, for those of you who haven't seen it, the two players who left the room are gonna have to come back in and guess what these activities are based on clues they're getting from their fellow team members. But they're too easy right now. Uh, so we're going to change some things in each activity to make them a little bit harder. So let's see what that first activity is there. Um, let's see, I, riding a bike. Uh, so we're riding a bike. So in the chat right now, if you could just throw a ton of nouns, like person, place, things, objects in a drawer, food, just start a huge list and Kelsey and I can pull from those for the first four. Um, you can just drop famous people, vegetables, things you would buy at Target, literally all the suggestions that you've, you've heard us ask for over the, the 16 years that we've been on the internet, and we'll pluck from those. Uh, great, so we're riding a bike. The bike itself is going to be a Roomba. Ooh, uh, fancy. And the I'm rider of the bike, the bike rider, is going to be Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, <laughs> So when the <laughs> players come back in, specifically, uh, Fiona is going to have to guess this one. She's going to have to guess that the activity is riding a bike, but the bike's not a normal bike. It's a Roomba, and the person riding the bike is Jerry Seinfeld. She's, she's going to have to guess all of that. So now you see sort of the format. Now we'll build the other suggestions. So Kelsey, do you want to think, take thing number two? Yes, I would love to take the next thing. All right, so our next activity is playing catch. Um, okay, so the um ball that you are throwing when you're playing catch um <laughs> gosh these are i just love looking at these the ball will be a uh, sonic the hedgehog mm, very good mm. and then you are um playing catch let's see here let's see <laughs> you're playing catch i'm so sorry um there's so many to choose from i know uh, you are playing catch. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh. Keep them coming, folks. Keep them coming in here. 
Let's see. Remember, the first couple are a little easier, so you don't have to look for the, the hardest one. Yeah, that's what I'm like trying to think. You're playing catch with an alligator. I love it. We'll do that who with an alligator. Who, who doesn't love playing catch with an alligator? Okay. Some of these were a little too specific, so I was trying to find like a nice. Very specific. I already know what I'm going to use for my for my hard one because okay. it's a delight. Uh, so activity number three, I believe, is going to the zoo, uh, and there's a bonus point uh, baked in if they can guess that they are going to the zoo and befriending elephants. They don't have to get the befriending elephants part. Uh, to get the point, but they will get a bonus point if they get befriending elephants. So the zoo itself isn't going to be a zoo. It's going to be, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's make the zoo uh, the band Smash Mouth. So the zoo will be the band Smash Mouth. And the animals at the zoo, or if they say elephant, I will take it, uh, will just be a hot dog. Ooh. Just a hot dog. All right, great. Uh, thing number four, Kels. Love it. Okay, so for our next thing, we have swim in a lake. Ooh, hoo -hoo. ooh, ooh. <laughs> swim in a lake. All righty. Um, so instead of water, it's gonna be um, salsa. I like that. Mm, delicious. It's gonna be salsa, and then salsa, <laughs> salsa. and then um. You are actually swimming at <laughs> an easy bake oven. Wonderful. What a time. What a time. Oh, this to is great. Like. <laughs> uh, wonderful. OK, now we just did the first four things. Now, each of those, uh, if the players get them right, are worth five points to the score. So those first four are, you know, they're, they're a little on the easier side. I feel like they're only worth five points. Things five and things thing six are worth 10 points. So we're gonna make them a little harder. So the fifth activity is grading papers in a coffee shop. Uh, and I cannot wait for this one. And I can't wait for the players to get very angry. So you're grading papers in a coffee shop. The coffee shop that you're in is Willow the movie. And the papers that you're grading are Willow the tree. Oh, you turd. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, man what and they have to specify that it is willow the movie and willow the tree they can't just say willow uh wonderful all right and kelsey you finish us out with thing number six wonderful so thing number six i like i'm going blind so we have grading papers oh wait no i lied i'm so sorry wait in a line for a water slide and another bonus point here if they say the water slide is at great wolf lodge they'll get a bonus point. If they don't say it, that's fine. If they just say water slide, but we love extra points. All right, so I'm actually really excited for this. Okay, so um, the water slide itself is um, the cast of the musical Mamma Mia. Okay. And um, uh, the person that's in front of them in line is Jeff Probst from the Survivor. He's the host of Survivor. From the survivor. From the survivor. All right. Survivor. <laughs> From the survivor. Uh, there we, we there you have it. We've done it. So you see we've built a little game board here, Kelsey and I. So these are the six things that Fiona and Val are going to have to guess. They're going to have to guess the activity and all of the replacements in there. And like I said, the first four are worth five points. And things five and six are worth 10 points and microscopic type. Uh, <laughs> so Kelsey, if you wouldn't mind bringing them back in, I'll continue to explain oh. just how they're going to guess. Uh, so. Like I said, they're gonna to have to guess what these things are and the play their fellow teammates are gonna be giving them clues. Now, here's the catch that makes this even a little harder. They can only communicate with the guessers in with two forms of communication. The first being mime and gesturing. They can gesture to each other um, and, and act out the activities. Uh, and they can also use gibberish, which is a made up language made up by comedy sports with the exception of splooshy splooshy, which is of course water. Um, so that's like, that's a given. That's like the R, S, T, L, N, and E in Wheel of Fortune. Uh, <laughs> so that uh, they'll be using both gibberish and mime to convey what the clues are and what the replacements are. Now, they cannot act out the specific activity. They have to give them the pieces and parts of that, and uh, the player will have to put that together, but they can act out all the replacements. That is fine. Now, the final wrinkle in this whole thing is that they only get 90 seconds to do that. So each team gets 90 seconds on the clock, 
the guesser from the other team is watching the entire time because at the end of that 90 seconds, if the team does not get it correct, the guesser from the other team gets a chance to steal for those same points. So there are a lot of points up for grabs in this round. Conceivably, you could run the board and get 40 points. Um, so like when Kelsey said it's too close, it is too close. Anybody can win this thing. I believe we've got our guessers back in the room. Fiona and Val are back. Uh, blue team is going to do the odd ones. So one, three, and five. Red team, uh, two, four, and six. I will tell both of you there are bonus points for both teams hidden in these, and I'll let you know as we get closer to them what they are. Um, I believe that's all I have. Fiona, blue team, are you both ready to go? Yes! yes. All right, then who am I to stop you? Begin. Ah, you guys are about, I got a zap, ba, da, ba, zap, ba, ba. You guys are about, fing, you guys are, fing, fing, fing. Actually, you guys are about, fing, ting, 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 ting,
clock reset. We also have a request reset. for more gong, so how exciting. More <laughs> gong. Rob Great. Grabo. There it is. Yeah, that one's perfect. Yes! Right. That's Loyal well. fans, ask and you shall receive. Uh, if nothing else, we are a very gong forward show. Uh, <laughs> we're really well, gong we're, for it. We're really gong for it. Oh boy. <laughs> Where were those jokes in my background face? Uh, right, guys, uh, all right, so I them right up. Fiona, nine, uh, nine minutes on the clock. A minute and 30 on the clock. I'll take it. I'll take nine uh, minutes. And I believe this is one of the ones with the bonus point in it. Uh, I will let you know afterwards. Uh, a minute okay. and a half on the clock. Go for it. Ah, How much time do we have left on the clock? 10 seconds? 10 seconds. Ooh. All right, blue team, Fiona, I will tell you there is a bonus point and it is in the activity. So there's right. an act. So I will give you your points if you get the activity. It's if you get more specific, I will give you the bonus point. So go ahead and give me the okay. whole thing. I am going to the zoo and making friends with an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> The zoo itself is Smash Mouth. And uh, the elephant is a foot-long hot dog. That's good for six points. Yes! Six points. Yes! <laughs> yes, the bonus point was making friends with an elephant. Uh, <laughs> it was great. It was great. I love so the link. The link, the changing like phones. That was so yeah. yeah, it was very, it was very like. It was all there. All right, uh, let's get Val up there. Uh, we reset the clock to a minute and a half. 17 uh, to 19 with the blue in the clock. lead. Resetting reset clock. Resetting clock. Resetting <laughs> clock. Reset Wonderful. Thing. All right, Val, are you ready? Yes. And begin. Ah, smooshy, 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 smooshy. Ah, get up, ooh. Yes, I got, ah, I got, I got, I got, I got, Ah, sit down, ba. Please, ah, sit down, ba. No, no. Ah, what is that? She, ah, that ba. Ah, just a, yeah, ah, ah, just a. Ooh, ah, ooh, 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 Thirty seconds. <laughs> Doing the thing. The cat was still giving clues. I know. So, 
don't pull one over on me. Uh, great, Val, give me the whole thing with zero seconds left. Okay, uh, I am going to the beach for a swim. Okay. Okay. Um, I, uh, the water is, um, uh, oh God, I, the water is, is my existential crisis and, uh, and, <laughs> and I am, the beach that I am at is a loaf of, br of freshly baked bread. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're actually, did someone da, just da, fall? Da, 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 da. Uh, your activity was your activity was close, Wait, but the two replacements is are Fiona off. Fiona gonna guess? Yeah, I'm giving Fiona. Oh gotcha. Uh, I'm cleaning Sorry. up. Uh, so okay. yes, the activity was close, but the two replacements were wrong. Fiona, since there's no time left, you get to steal. Try and steal. Uh, great. I am uh, going to the beach and standing in the water and taking in my surroundings and okay. loving how peaceful they are. Um, okay. And uh, the water itself is guacamole. Nope, we're just and, gonna stop right there because you don't and, have the activity right. <laughs> and then me, I'm 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 just a, an easy bake oven. That's it. <laughs> I mean, here's the uh, thing: easy bake oven was in there. Uh, so you were you were swimming in a lake. The water itself was salsa, and you were salsa. at salsa, and you were at salsa. an easy bake oven. Uh, uh, what uh, wonderful, Fiona. Let's get you up there. A minute and thirty. Okay. So this is thing number five. This is harder. It's worth ten points, and you're gonna need all ninety seconds of it. So begin. Ah, you guys said about you guys said about you said about you guys 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 There were four seconds left on the clock when Fiona clapped in. So you do have four seconds remaining. If you get this, I will. If you get this on the first try, I will give you a bonus point. Uh, go for it. Okay. Uh, I am grading papers in a bar, um, and uh, and the papers themselves are a weeping willow, and uh, and the the place I am in is also a weeping willow. Okay. So you will need the four seconds. Uh, you are grading uh -huh. papers, but you're not in a bar. Great. Uh, the papers are a weeping willow. I will give that to you. Okay. And the shop, that you are very, very close. Uh, okay. That's all I'll say. Uh, you got four Great. seconds to clean it up and begin. Ah, you guys are. Ooh, gasada, pizza, 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 all right, give me the whole I'm sorry, thing. I was so invested, I did not do the countdown for that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you were very invested. Um, what? all right, am I guessing? Yeah, just one second. Uh, Charlie, would you mind logging out real quick until the comedy sports match is over? Thank you. <laughs> this has been Behind the Scenes with uh -huh. Jason. Uh, what about Fiona, give me the whole thing. I'm Grading papers in a coffee shop. That is correct. The papers are a weeping willow, and uh -huh. the coffee shop itself is a weeping willow. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Uh, Val, I'm going to give you a chance to steal, which would put you in the lead. 
Okay. I'm grading papers in a coffee shop. Yes. The papers are a, a, a weeping willow. Yeah. And the and the coffee shop is Willow the movie? Oh, that is correct. No! What? That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. Oh, uh, wonderful. Man! That is correct. Uh... Wow. That is a steal, loyal fans, which puts the Redheads in the lead, twenty-seven to nineteen. Uh, oh. All right, Val, you, wow. you still have you still have thing number six uh, because uh, Fiona could steal it and win the game still. So let's get you up to the screen, minute and thirty, Whoa. and here we go. <laughs> One minute left, one minute left. seconds left on the clock when Val clapped it in. Uh, all right, it's all here. There is a bonus point in here, Val, for the activity if you get more specific, but I will still give it to you if you don't get the specific part. Uh, so give me the whole thing. Okay, um, I'm waiting in line at a water slide. <laughs> yes! Okay, uh, 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 the water slide is ABBA. Okay. And and the uh, and the uh, the person in front of me in line is the show Survivor or the cast of Survivor. Okay, so your activity is correct. Uh, okay. Your slide you were very close on, and your person in front you are very close on. You were really okay. really close. You've got three seconds to clean both of that up and go. No more time. No more time. No more time. All right, give me the whole thing, Val. Okay, I'm I'm waiting in line at a water slide. Uh, the water slide is the one of the singers in ABBA, and okay. uh, and the person in front of me is the first cast of Survivor. Ooh, okay. <laughs> So now this really comes down to Fiona. Uh, that, those were all very close. The activity is correct. Fiona, you could steal this and win the match. Give me the whole thing. Okay, uh, I am waiting in line for a water slide. Yes. The slide itself is the cast of Mamma Mia. Yes. And uh, the person in front of me is Jeff Probst. That is correct. Yes. And that is a steal. <laughs> Making our final score 29 to 27. Oh, That's the match. Kelsey, take us home. You guys, my heart's racing like crazy. <laughs> uh, let's uh, say a big thank you and congratulations to our Ravenswood Redheads. We've got Val Agnew, Maureen Winston, led by Cat Godsake. Great job, folks. Oh my gosh. Uh, but let's give a round of applause for our champions tonight, our blue team, Fiona Stevens. Luis Cortez, and our captain, Heather Scholl. We could not have done this without Jason Geis, our referee, our MD, Faustino Solis. And thank you, Jacob Schaefer, for being a wonderful, wonderful stage manager. Y'all, thank you for watching. Thank you for paying attention, having fun. We'll see you again next week. We'll see you at our in-person space. I'm Kelsey Myers. 
I love you. Have a great night. Thank you. You win perfect.